This is question 8 from paper 1 of the 2015 National 5 SQA Maths exam. We're given a couple of points and we're asked to find the equation of the line joining these two points. So let's gather some facts before we do this. One of the facts is if we have two points and we know their coordinates then the gradient of the line joining these two points will be the y difference over the x difference. Also we know that the equation of a straight line has either this form y equals mx plus c where m is the, the gradient and c is where it crosses the y-axis or it has this form now, if you don't know this formula, then fair enough, that doesn't matter, we can get on without it. Uh, where A, B is a point that lies on the line, and M again is the gradient of the line. There's a lot of uh, formula there, but we'll work our way through this. So the first fact we'll need to do is find, the first fact we'll need to find out is, is the gradient of the line joining these two points. So the two points, negative 2, 5, and 315, gradient of the line joining these two points, but the y difference, let's take 15 minus 5, the 2y coordinates, and since we started with this point, we must start the x difference here also, so 3 minus negative 2. So the top line is 10, 3 plus 2, if you take away a negative, so the gradient's 2. So let's start by, or we'll do it two ways. The first way we're going to do it, slightly easier way, is say the, let the equation be y equals mx plus c. Now that means that y equals 2x plus c. And since we know 315 lies in this, lies on the line, then we know that the two coordinate values, x is 3, y is 15, will work in this equation. So that means 15 is twice 3 plus c. And from this, we can get hold of the fact that uh, c will be 15 minus 6. We take 6 from both sides. We'll get c being 15 minus 6, which is 9. So the equation we're after is y equals 2x plus 9. And that's that. Now there is a slightly more complicated way of doing that, and that would be to use this formula, which is the formula for the equation of a straight line with gradient m that has the point AB on it. So we could use, again, let's use 315 uh, and M equals 2. So the equation is Y minus 15, that's the Y coordinate of the point on the line, equals the gradient to x minus and then the x coordinate 3. And in this case we have a bit more working to do. We have to uh, multiply out the brackets 2x minus 6 and we could add 15 to both sides and 15 on to the negative. That, the 15 on the negative 15 disappears but 15 on to the negative 6 gives us 9 as we had before. So two different ways of doing it. Probably this one is a slightly easier one, maybe not. Both look around the same. 